uh, I used to work as a desktop support. So uh, if I want to search job in this uh, uh, AWS DevOps, how I need to proceed? Fine. So what is your overall experience, Kishan, in desktop support? Uh, yeah, I have five years of experience in it. Very good, very good. Uh, so can you tell me what is your current roles and responsibility, what you will do daily basis? From that, I'll help you to convert in cloud. And for the past one year, I'm not working. Okay. I used to work in uh, in uh, Bahrain, Gulf. Okay. What is your work daily? Uh, uh, there, I used to work as a uh, Active Directory, where okay. I used to create. What is your client? User. Your client name? Uh, client name. There was a telecom company in okay. that I used to work. Thank you. So tell me something, uh, I'll tell you, okay, also I'm recording it, I'll send you this video as well after our discussion. Something, your okay. requirement is really uh, interesting. Many people know they are uh, in the such situation like you, they are asking me same um, solution for it. It's very simple. Uh, first, uh, believe in yourself, like uh, we have uh, completed AWS DevOps training with us, okay? Hope you got okay. some idea what does mean by cloud, what are the services are available in cloud, what are all the DevOps tools are available in cloud, okay, all these. Uh, tools and services level you have idea practically you have idea now when you go for attending interview for that you need to prepare your resume now. when you are preparing your resume you have five years of experience in uh, telecom that support right and in active directory support right you have to showcase your experience last two years or two and a half year you have to mention in such a way you are working in cloud project same client whatever the client you work for telecom same client you have to mention like uh, overall five years of experience out of it two and a half year i worked on active directory and support uh, desktop support kind of thing last uh, two two and a half year right i worked on aws so they will ask uh, example we'll assume you are supporting for telecom or you are your you client is something insurance based company or any uh, banking sector whatever you have to tell during the interview this is my client for example we'll take aviva life insurance is your client okay Literally, you are supporting desktop support for the Aviva Life Insurance. But when you are projecting that in the interview, right, you have to showcase in such a way. I am supporting for Aviva Life Insurance. Uh, my client, right, this is an insurance-based company. They are uh, set up, setting up all their infrastructure component in cloud. They are using AWS Cloud as their uh, data center. All their component, right, it's available with AWS Cloud. Our day-to-day the, the -day responsibility, what we will do in our client, for our client, be used to uh, support be used to uh, uh, taking care of their AWS cloud infrastructure. For example, when they need any uh, servers, right, we will use EC2 instruct and we'll spin up some new instances, we'll give it to them. When we take S3, right, client will come up and they will ask for uh, some uh, S3 uh, storage they wanted to provision. We'll create a bucket, we'll assign some necessary permission for them, we'll give back to them. When client are testing something or they wanted to do any network kind of thing in AWS VPC, right? We used to provision the VPC resources and subnet, uh, internet gateway, NAT gateway, transit gateway, peering, all these things. According to the client requirement, we will enable and we'll give back to the client. Also, we have some automation tools. Also, we are using something like Terraform we are using and Boto3 we are using, cloud formation we are using. Based on the cloud client requirement, we'll have to create a Terraform template, uh, cloud formation template and the Jenkins pipeline will set up for my client. Like that you can project to them. Okay, this is what your infrastructure setup. This is how you need to explain about your infrastructure. So next level in the interviewer, they will ask you, what is your day-to-day -day operations in the cloud infrastructure? I just now I asked you, right? Similar way, interviewer will ask you, what is your day-to-day -day operation in the cloud infrastructure? What you need to do, you need to prepare some, take a note of it. I mean. If it is EC2 service, for example, let's take EC2 for the example for our discussion. When you take EC2, let's expect what kind of client will come and ask to you, what kind of client will have the requirement with respect to an EC2. If you are working in any cloud project, what are all the possibility getting to work on EC2, okay? First, first option, client may ask you to uh, uh, set up some EC2 instance. It can be Linux instance or uh, Windows instance client will ask you to open some specific port in the security group. Maybe client, when they do not have access, right? They may ask you to allow some port in security group. By the way, they will get access. Client suddenly will come and say, uh, hi, Kishan, this is the server. I'm not able to connect. You have to check whether the, if they are not able to connect, first you need to connect. You need to try connect by your own, whether it's connecting for us or not. If it is connecting for us, there is no problem with server. It's only a, a issue with the access. 
you need to ask the ip from them we need to allow their ip by the way they will also able to connect when you are checking that time itself your uh, connectivity is not there for you as well there's some serious problem with the ac tension you need to check on the uh, uh, server is turned on or stop state or running state or you can check whether uh, your ac to instance uh, utilization is normal or peak so that kind of troubleshooting basic troubleshooting you will do according to that you will be uh, updating them uh, so again apart from this client will ask you to uh, add on new volume to your ac to instance okay client will ask you to extend the size of any volume our client will ask you to assign some elastic ip to your instance so these kind of request we may expect from ec2 service all these request whenever client wanted to do something right they are doing it as a ticket for each and every activity they will create a ticket when you are working in any cloud project right you will have access to the ticketing tool when client created a ticket it will be coming into your queue you can assign the ticket in your name you can start work on it whatever activity it is ec2 i told you four five examples right Uh, these are one one ticket section and when we are working on cloud as a initial level i am telling okay initial level because you are starting your career you just have a two years of experience in cloud right for your category i am telling these kind of we got tickets you will receive on uh, with respect to an ec2 okay uh, for example if you take f3 client will ask you to create a f3 uh, bucket client will ask you to set up some f3 bucket policy client may ask you to uh, uh, configure uh, some uh, uh, encryption in your bucket level okay so these kind of they will give your resource name and they will create a ticket based on the ticket you will be working for them when come to devops related activity right when client have a huge resources they wanted to apply it through terraform you will have to write terraform template based on their requirement cloud formation template based on their requirement boto 3 uh, lambda automation you have to do based on the requirement hope you remember we have discussed about uh, disaster recovery in our training program itself you completely go through the disaster recovery and tell them this is what we are configuring our backup and high availability in our environment we used to taking care of client dr when disaster happened we'll take care of all these automation we are in place like that you can explain so by explaining in this way right the interviewer the company where you are attending interview they will get some confident okay is the guy really working in aws project only he is telling so many activity whatever he worked on okay before these are the uh, answers you have to explain them during the interview okay this one part addition to that finally i'll complete my point here which is uh, when you are going for attending interview before attending the interview itself you need to have the local preparation local preparation in the sense in iam take 5 to 10 day to day activity prepare some uh, activities like iam user creation iam custom policy creation roles creation groups creation assigning creating mfa for any user like that you need to prepare something in iam as a handy keep notes for ec2 uh, same way five ten activity keep notes for uh, vpc five ten activity keep some activity for terraform five different use cases keep some you know, five different scenarios as you worked on lambda keep some five references for jenkins keep some five references for cloud formation make yourself confident on that five to ten use cases on each and every aws service each and every devops tools by the way right you will get some more confident and you will came to know by default what need to be present during the interview This is your recommendation, Kishan. Hope you got some points. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, right now, I'm uh, practicing all the videos. Very good. Uh, maybe, maybe next uh, week. Uh, can you arrange for a, a mock interview? Sure, I can arrange mock interview for you. You can ping me on WhatsApp. Yeah. Whatever tools you prefer. First, you prepare your resume and send it to me. Uh, by the way, I'll arrange a mock yeah. interview for you, and also I'll give it to you. Okay. So whatever okay. suggestion you need further. first i told you right you need to prepare each and every service 5 to 10 uh, responsibility keep it uh, you masterize on that 5 to response 5 to 10 responsibility then you create your resume according to that send your resume updated resume in your resume project project overall your 5 5 years of experience 2.5 years you worked on the desktop support 2.5 years you mentioned like uh, whatever we studied in our training program right you mentioned that you are working as a cloud you mentioned your designation like uh, aws cloud uh, engineer okay so associate cloud engineer something like that accordingly you no know, we will conduct a mock interview we will proceed further from that point okay okay